Hi there guys, I'm sure if you're watching this video then you've already downloaded Assetto Corsa and you saw that you can change the liveries on your cars. In this episode I'm going to show you how to change it the easy way and it applies for most, uh, most of the vehicles, most of the mods, so you can try it on anyone. So what you do is you decide what car you want to change the liveries of. If you've got your car, I'm going to take this Toyota Corolla BTCC. What I normally do first is I right click, then I say say folder, then it opens up the folder where the car is saved. Now I do that so that I can know what is the folder name, and you'll see a little bit later why why I need to know what is the folder's name. Alright, what you then do is, then you click right on the bottom here, you see it says CM uh, Showroom, you click there. It opens up uh, the picture of your, of your car. And then what you do is, you click on the body of your car. You can click anywhere, it doesn't matter where, as long as it, it highlights the body. And here on your right hand side, you'll see it says TX Diffuser. Now it will say either skin or body or something similar or something uh, it will contain a name regarding on what you clicked. So if I for instance click on the wheels you'll see it shows the rim. So you can change the colors of your rims as well. But for now we're going to stay with the body because we want to change the liveries. So I'm going to click on the liveries on the, on the body. Right. Then you'll see on your uh, there where it says TX Diffuser. Right next to it, you get your hamburger option. Then you click on that. It will open up the screen. What you do then, then you go, you'll see that it's written, it's written, there's a drop down menu stating Calculate AO. Now if you click on the drop down, it gives you uh, options. Now the best thing is to go as high as possible. Because the, the higher the calculation is, the better your outcome is going to be. So what I, I've done and what, what works for me, you'll see right on the, on the bottom, it says there calculate map of custom size. So if you click there, I've put in there 4096 by 4096. So now after you've entered that uh, width and height, you click OK, then you'll see it start rendering the picture. You just wait until it's finished. All right, so now it's finished. Now you can see the all the parts and the body parts of your of your vehicle. All right, now the next step that you must do is you'll see there's an arrow on the right hand side. So you must click it twice. One, two. All right. The reason for that is the third one's got all the detail and it's got all the shadows uh, on it. So it's always the best to use this AO map. All right. Next thing you must do, you'll see on the right hand side there's a save button. So you click on the save button. And then you must make sure it's in the folder of the car. You'll see there's the car's name. And then in that folder there's a folder called skins. So now you double click on the skins, then, then you'll see all the folders for the skins. So what I'm going to do is, let's make it a new folder, let's name it YouTube, enter, alright, so I'm going to go in there, okay so the first thing I do is, I save it as a DDS file, I save it, now I'm just waiting until it's finished. Alright, as soon as you can see the save button, then you can click on it again. You go into skins again. Then you go to your folder that you're, that you're busy changing and that you want to change. So you double click on that one. Alright, there's your DDS skin. So what you do is now, now you click on your drop down and you save it as a PNG. Now the reason why you save it as a PNG is that we're going to use GIMP to change the liveries. So GIMP can't open up a DDS, but it can export and it can save a, D, uh, a file as a DDS. 
So we need something Gim can open and that we can work on. So the only thing he can work on is a PNG. So we're saving now, saving it now as a PNG. So now you can say save. All right. So now we are finished with the with the body. So we can close that up. We can close this one up as well. All right. So what you can do is now, now you can open up your GIMP. What I'll do is I'll, I'll put the link uh, in the description below for, for GIMP. All right, now you go into file, you say open. All right, now it's important. And that's why in the beginning I said you must open your folder. So you'll see the folder is still open where the car is in. Now what you can do is you can, uh, you can either uh, follow all the files as shown above in, in your directory to get your uh, to get your car otherwise what you can do is you go to your drive where you installed steam on and then you go to steam library steam apps common Aceta Corsa then you go to content and you'll see there's one that says cars, then you go to cars. And as I said, now you can just check your file and you can see, all right, this one is called, the, the folder is F, FSR Corolla. So now we must go, go and look for FSR Corolla. There it is. Okay, if you click on that one and you'll see there's one that says skin. So now you say skins. Now, let, now you go to the folder that you created just now and we, well, the one we're using now is YouTube, so open that one up. All right, now you'll see there's two or two files. The one that you want to open is a PNG one, because GIMP can't read DDS. So you click on PNG, then you say open. All right, and there's your there's your skin, there's your there's your car. All right, next thing that you that you can do now, now you can click on file again. Then you say open. All right, what I did is, on one of my drives, I've created a folder with libraries and all kind of stuff that I want to put onto my car. So you can, you can do the same. You can either put it on your desktop or in one of your drives. It doesn't matter, as long as you can find it. So now you can go into your libraries. Let's go to colors. So now you can decide what color you want to use. So I'm, I'm just, for the demonstration purposes and how it works, I'm just going to use that one. So I'm going to use this one. All right. Now you go back to your car. And then what you want to do is you go to image and you'll see there's one that say mode. You hover over mode and then you, you click RGB. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it's going to be black and white. So then you won't see the color. All right, now you go back to the livery that you want to put over your car. All right, you right click, you say edit, you say copy, you go to your car, you say right click, edit, and you say paste. All right, there's your, there's your livery. But if you see it's too small and you want to, you want to make it larger, uh, what I'll do is I'll put some of the shortcut keys uh, in the description as well uh, you want to scale it if you, then you press you hold shift and you press s right now you can change the size and how big you want your livery to be so you can either resize it or you can move it where you want it for this video what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it on the one side of the car so you can see what happens well, let's let's do this i'm gonna just drag it over the body all right for demonstration what i'm going to do let's let's do this all right as you can see now you can't you can't really see the outlines of the car but what you must do is you'll see on the right hand side it says the mode now now there where it, where it says mode you must click on the drop down menu then you go down to multiply and as, soo as soon as you then say scale it takes the shape of the car all right 
Now the next thing that we want to do is, say for instance you want to put some stickers on your door. Then you go to file and you go to open and you go to where you put your logos and your stickers. Um, I just want to see what am I going to put in. Let's put that one in. Then you say open. You right click, you say edit, you say copy, then you go back to your car, right click, edit, you say paste. Alright, there's auto press. Alright, if you want to zoom in on the numpad, if you want to zoom in, you can just press the plus, and if you want to zoom out, you can just press minus. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift and S again. Just to move it to where I want want it. I want it on the door. So let's just go downwards. Sure, uh, it's still that. Shift and S. All right, and then we move it to the left. Going to be that accurate with the stickers. I just want to show you guys and give you an idea what to do. All right. What you must do is if you want to place stickers over. Uh, a delivery that you already uh, already pasted onto the car then you mustn't change your mode to multiply because if you change it to multiply let me show you what happens if you put it on multiply now uh, let's say scale you see it's much darker and you can't you can't barely see what's what's going on there so what you what you must do is your mode for your stickers that you want to put over your deliveries you must leave them on normal because then you'll get then you'll get uh, this effect all right let's just shift an s scale so you can make sure it's on there all right so now we can zoom out so it's minus if you're happy with what you accomplished and you're happy with what you've done with your car then what you can do is you can go to you see on the right hand side it says your layers and channels so go to channels first and then you'll see this one that say alpha so you click on that and then you drag it down and then you drop it underneath it will say there it will say the alpha channel copy All right then you go back to layers then you go up to where it says images you go straight down to where it says flatten images so then you flatten image okay then you go to layers you'll see this one that says mask you hover over it and then it says add layer mask then you click on the add layer mask all right then you must just make sure it says channel and it must say alpha channel copy in other words the one that you copied the drag and drop one that you've done just now and then you say add all right so after you've done that then you go to then you go to that folder again that you that you that your car is in so you say file and then you say export as all right now you must just first make sure if you open up or if you say export as you must make sure it's in the folder that you created you'll see there it's in the car folder it's in the skins folder and it's in well we call this folder youtube because we're doing youtube video so it's in the youtube so it's in the correct in the correct folder so now we're going to export it as a dds so now you click on the dds and then you say export it's going to warn you and tell you, listen, you've already got the DDS, but you can just say replace. All right. Now, under compression, you click the drop down menu. You click on the BC3 DX5, because that's that's the compression that you want you wanted that as. Then here with, where it says MIP maps, you click the drop down and you say create MIP maps. On advanced options you'll click you click there the filter that you're going to use if you click on the drop down menu is box so then you say box then you say okay 
and it exported it as a DDS. All right, so now we're going to go back and then you'll see there is the there's the uh, file or there's the the new skin that we've created. So what you do now is now you click on update previews. Now it will update all the skins. So just give it a few seconds. Now if you click, click on hours, you will see it changes it changed the skin. So go to CM showroom. All right. And as you can see, there is the sticker that we, that we placed on the side. And if you look around on your card, you'll see the part that we paint it is it's on the card as well. Thanks for watching. The next video I'm going to make, I'll, I'll show you guys how to change your wheels and put some other uh, wheels onto your vehicle. But for now, that's going to be that.